Thanks again for joining us. This is Jeff Weekly. I'm the editor of Florida Sportsman Magazine. We're here with our ICAST New Gear Guide. And today we're talking to Clint Davis. Clint is a veteran bass pro on the Elite Series and FLW Tours. And he's talking to us from Montevallo, Alabama. Clint's going to introduce a couple of freshwater offerings from uh, Yozuri. Clint, what's the first lure we're going to look at today? Yeah, uh, you know, the first thing is the Yozuri, the 3DB pencil popper, man. Uh, we, the whole pro staff, we work tirelessly on all these baits, uh, as well as Japan. And uh, I think we made a, you know, an awesome product here. Uh, so this is a one ounce bait. We did it in, I don't have it on paper, I think eight colors. You can launch this thing out there uh, and, you know, and really reach out to, to school and bass or, you know, striper, anything like that. But we've, uh, we've done an awesome job with the pencil popper. Now, now a, a pencil popper, you can work it a couple different ways, right? You can, you can make it spit, you can make it walk. What, what are your uh, thoughts on retrieves? Yeah, you can, uh, you know, uh, a little sneaky one. It sounds crazy is I'll actually, if I get to school and fish, I'll actually just fire this thing out there to them and reel it back. And it, it does a real tight cadence back to the boat. That's a, that's a, a beginner's easy way of actually working this thing. Got it. Any recommendations as far as a kind of rod and reel setup or line? Is it, you think it's important? You, you want to use light tackle or heavier gear? You know, I throw this bait right here on 50 pound Yozuri Super Braid. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's got really good hooks. I can cast braid, of course, cast farther than fluorocarbon to begin with. And uh, rod wise, uh, it just depends what you're comfortable with. I, I'll throw it on a 7.7, actually a medium heavy rod. Uh, some people like seven foots, but anything with a, a little bit of a bend since you're you're getting, you know, braid, which really has no stretch whatsoever. So anything with just a little bit of bend so you're just not ripping the hooks out of their house, uh, out of their mouth works great. Got it. Now, you know, Yuzuri is real well known for its high quality lures and, and they've got some very competitive price points this year. What's what's uh, what's that that lure go for? Yeah, nine ninety nine. That's uh, you know, like Japanese nine ninety nine. Uh, another cool thing on these baits uh is the internal like so this is a prism finish but the crazy thing is is the paint is actually to the inside of this bait uh, awesome you never you know you're, you're never going to scratch your lure up because the paint's actually built to the inside of the plastic so you're uh yeah you're never going to tear the paint off of it if you do you probably broke it and need to go buy a new one so we've got the surface bite covered with the top water a uh, 3db pencil popper now, Yuzuri also has some lures for fishing a little lower in the water column. Now, Clint, you've got a pair of uh, jerk baits to show us today. Jerk baits. Jerk baits. Jerk baits. The 110, we've got the regular 110, which is going to dive three to five foot, and then the 110 deep, which is going to dive, depending on the size of your fishing line, you're going to get this thing eight to 12 foot deep. Uh, again, it's something else that the pro staff has worked tirelessly on. I, I think um, a man, and I, I know a lot of guys that do it on the professional level, they take a jerk bait and 365 days a year make a living with it. Uh, there, to me, there's not a better fish catching lure in the in, in bass fishing than, than a jerk bait. And I think the whole pro staff, man, we've uh, busted our tail with Japan. I think we got the best colors out there. Uh, the best action, it's, um, yeah, I mean, they're just, we're, we've been overly impressed. Uh, we've taken a few years to get these things right. It's nothing that was just spit out over a couple of months and uh, a lot of input back and forth with us in Japan. And I, I'm real excited about it. No, I'm, I've already made some money with it. I mean, I've had the, I've had the, you know, the prototypes for a while now. And Well, great. It's a good array of lures. Thanks for uh, catching up with us today, Clint. It was good to talk to you.